So I was like a little doll, you know? First six weeks, I was in an incubator with tubes in, and my mum would be kind of leaning on the glass trying to get to me, and she was the very first person in New Zealand to ever use the electric breast pump, my mum. And so she'd be in the hospital, and it was the funniest thing, because all the doctors would be gathered around, you know? And she'd be there going, with this thing, you know? Sucking all the milk out, and because uh, before the electric breast pump, it was a lot harder to express milk in terms of large amounts. Her breast milk fed the, all the premature babies on the whole ward at Green Lane Hospital because she was so prolific with her milk. And then one day she discovered that I was the last in line getting my mum's milk. <laughs> so she had this tantrum at the doctors and then I finally started getting my mum's own breast milk. You know. But uh, I was born at seven months, I was very sick. And when I came out, I uh, developed asthma and hay fever and allergies. And by the time I was five, I was a full blown asthmatic. Uh, with really bad skin and acne and weight problems and constipation and I was on 16 shots of Ventolin a day for the first 20 years of my life and so a lot of people say to me you know god damn Jason you're irritatingly healthy you know what made you be so passionate about health you know and um, the people who knew me before I was 20 know how sick I was and they kind of get it but the people that only met me after I was 20 which of course is the last you know lot of years um, kind of think I'm somehow born this way or born healthy or born well and I wasn't I was born really really sick in the first 20 years, every day, 16 shots of Ventolin every day for 20 years. Steroid injections, Ventolin injections where they used to hold you down before the puffer and they would hold you down on a table.